Boy, if Stevie pulls this off, what a story this will be. Yeah, now this is different, right? I mean, the first two times he pitched this year, it was fun, it was a joke, but now it's different. I mean, this is, this is for a save. And that's where it changes a little bit. Yeah, it was a wild game. Up until the extra innings of that game, it was already pretty crazy. I botched the ball going back on it uh, on the warning track. And the pitch breaking ball lifted the center field. Back on it is Wilkerson. Still going back. It is up over his head. And it's against the wall. I misplayed it a little bit and put us down by a couple runs. And the Angels have a 4-2 lead here in the seventh. The next inning in the eighth, I came back up and, and hit a game-tying double. Wilkerson swings, hits a high fly ball, right center field. That ball is in there for a base hit, and it's against the wall. Here's Viar to score to tie, and the Orioles come back and tie it here with two in the eighth. It's a 4-4 game. So it's pretty, pretty wild before extra innings. The extra innings went for another two hours or something. So we had we had just run out of pitchers um, and we were completely out of arms. So when we came back into the dugout, he said, hey, you got the next inning, you good? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And at that time, the game was tied. And then VR comes up and hits the two-run jack. Play back in. I was on deck. I think I was about to hit. And then I came back in and uh, he looked at me. He's like, you still got this? I was like, yeah, bro, let's go. We are in the 16th inning of a ball game working its way over the six hour mark. Stevie Wilkerson is going to go to the mound and try to earn the save. I'll tell you what, Brandon Hyde has some guts <laughs> to, to pull this off. This wasn't something I ever uh, thought about. Well, I'm just hoping he gets somehow they hit uh, three balls at somebody. This is just amazing to watch. I've seen a lot of baseball and I don't think I've ever seen anything as wild as this. And the pitch, it's in there for a strike. Honestly, I was just trying to float the ball over the plate. Um, I had warmed up a few pitches. That was kind of my approach, just, just throw it over the plate. And I think it progressively got slower and slower. That ball wasn't even fast enough to be registered on the radar gun. I know how hard it is to hit against position players. It's brutal. And the slower, the, the more difficult. Goes after it. Backs up a few steps, and he makes the catch and one down. I think just because we're so accustomed to timing everything to close to 100 mile an hour fastballs, I think for some guys more than others, it's just a lot more difficult to adjust. And now all of a sudden you get 55 mile an hour fastballs, which hitters never see. Yeah, it's like 30 miles below BP speed. Yeah, they just never see it. I was able to slow it down, slow it down, and then when I got to about 53, I think that's as low as I could go. Here's the 2-0, and that floats in there for a strike at 54 miles an hour, 2-1. and one. But the danger here is the more these hitters see these pitches at the plate, the more they can begin to time it up. You hope they swing and make out the first or second pitch. A ground ball into the shift. Here we are. Wilkerson's got a chance for a save. The Orioles one out away from a win in a very strange game. And here's Albert Pujols. You know, it was really cool. I was like, man, this is Albert Pujols. And uh, looking back on it, it's even crazier than at the time. I was kind of just like, okay, yeah, you know, it's Pujols. Like, I know that, but at the same time, like, what I got is what I got. Pitch is going to be in there for a strike. You know, I'm not going to change anything here. Swinging a high fly ball to center field. Santander, and it got it! And Wilkerson gets the save. And the Orioles win, and Stevie Wilkerson, the Orioles' secret weapon, earns the save. Unbelievable. I think this was the first save from a position player in 1969 ever. 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 Hyder giving me the ball there at the end was, uh, it was pretty special. It was awesome. It's an unbelievable memory. Hopefully I can do enough in my career to where the pitching will be the side note, not the not the front note, but um, you know, time will tell. So we'll see how it goes. So we understand that after the last outing, strike thrower Steve nicknamed himself. I think Hyder, honestly. He said I dubbed myself Dr. Poo Poo, but I think when they asked me after the first game what I was throwing, I think I said I was throwing 80 poo, like, you know, just basically saying I was throwing slow and then 
Uh, next thing I know, like someone was like, what's Dr. Poopo? I was like, I don't know. Um, and obviously Tanner had a tough time in that inning and Dr. Poopo comes in and, and does a great job uh, getting three outs. And then I looked at Hyder's interview and he was put, he was saying, you know, I was calling myself Dr. Poopo. Stevie Wilkerson will have a new nickname when we come to the ballpark tomorrow. He's the one who will choose what it is, as he always does. I don't know. Legend has it that I came up with it, but I think it was Hyder.